This is the Biomineral Technologies 2020 Educational Series. And the concept behind putting this together was to try to understand the order of creation and the divine intelligence that fits all the pieces of the puzzles together in a unified, intelligent, interconnected way. And these are things that we should really have already learned from being stewards over agriculture, of being those that produce food, that sustain life and drive health. And we want to look deeper into these ideas, these concepts, these principles and laws that govern creation and literally govern all of life. But we want to look at bringing all of these pieces together, all of the intelligence that's designed to fit, to drive and sustain life forms. We're going to call this concept environmental engineering because that's truly what we're doing if we properly understand all of these brilliant divine components that God used to create this world and to sustain life. We have all of the elements that play a fundamental role as the building blocks of nature and life. The biology, the millions of species of bacteria and fungi, the protozoa, the nematode, the micro and macro orthopods, all of these hierarchies, these different trophic forms of microorganisms that bring that added intelligence of life into the equation, that set up the stage for then plants and for insects, for animal life and for human life and health. All of these are intelligently integral parts of the whole design. This whole process of understanding creation is really like a puzzle. We open a box and there literally are hundreds and hundreds of individual pieces and we think, where do they all go? And what do each of these pieces really mean? Well, I can promise you that every piece in that puzzle is divinely important. It has an intelligence and it has a place. And so focusing on just a few pieces of the puzzle will never bring into focus the entire picture of what God has created or how it works properly interconnected with all the other intelligence that exist here. And so as we begin to understand the pieces of the puzzle and we start to put them together, more and more the picture becomes focused and we begin to see how everything becomes connected. Not just connected, but interconnected and then becomes intercommunicational in the information and the beauty that it really has to convey. These are all divinely orchestrated and they're all governed by laws. The only variable in this entire equation are you and I and how we manage it. We have the ability to choose whether or not we want to obey these natural laws. However, we don't have the ability to choose the consequence. And when we follow these natural laws and we understand them, that stewardship which we have been given, and it's not control, absolutely not, that is way out of our hands. We have only the opportunity to learn as stewards how to manage this divine intelligence that God has allowed us to use. As we learn about the order of creation and then we understand that intelligence that's put into every cell and how it understands its environment and how it knows what its role is in nature whether it's an insect a microbe a plant an animal or a human it all has that divine intelligence that allows it to function 
in that organism that it's part of. And this whole divine system, if properly understood, can be managed so that the potential in life is expressed to a higher level and a higher function. And we see all of that potential in the DNA and the genes and all that intelligence coming out in better plant expression, better nutritional development, better life and health for all living systems. As we've assembled the information that goes into these training sections, it's important that we follow them through in order. The reason being is that each section will build upon the next one and each section that follows. It's like a piece of the puzzle. If we just look at one small area, we don't see that whole picture. And, and nature truly is an interconnected, intercommunicational, interfunctional system from the beginning to the end. And so whether your occupation is that of livestock, whether it's that of a grower, whether you're making compost or whether you're growing food in a greenhouse or your own home garden. It's incredibly important that you understand all the principles of life that bring everything together that builds, drives, and sustains life. So follow these sections through so that they can add one upon another to give us a better understanding of how things work and why they work. Why we need all of these factors in managing the resources and intelligence that God has allowed us to have. Let's take an honest evaluation of how we're doing. There's some critical factors in our environment that will give us a very good indication of what our progress has or hasn't been. Let's look at our soils. Erosion, the organic matter content, our soil health, it's a big topic now. And then our microbial diversity, compaction, our water retention, all of these have gotten much worse. Look at our food and our nutritional content. Our mineral content has been going down for over a hundred years and sharply the last two or three decades. Our vitamins and metabolites aren't being formed and produced. Pathogen content is up. Shelf life and flavor, these are dramatically worse animal health, reproduction and survivability rates, diseases, and the illness factors. Look at productivity, longevity, and antibiotic use. All of these factors are in serious trouble. Human health from conception to birth to infertility, our antibiotic use, pharmaceutical intervention, our autism rates are absolutely skyrocketing. Cancers, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, autoimmune disease, and especially our neurological disorders. All of these have gotten so much worse. So how can we honestly evaluate where we've been and say more of it is the right approach. This is not a sustainable system. However, by following the divine intelligence that God put into nature, there is a way to correct 
all of these anomalies, not just in the soil, but in our food production and our livestock and our health. There is an intelligent design that if we follow it, we can correct these problems in our environment. This is part of the new environmental engineering that we are going to teach you about. We're excited about it. We'd love for you to join us and participate in it because this is the solution to the problems we're facing.